good. Whoa! There was none of these known prior to today. Hey, if you're new to the channel, my name's Tom. I go around the US digging up old trash deposits from the pioneer era. Today I'm in Sheldon, North Dakota, sitting behind where a pool hall restaurant and bowling alley once stood. It was on a 1904 map and then it was gone by 1908. So there should be some early stuff buried back here. I'll take a walk around, probe the lot, and see if I can locate a site to dig. So there's not much to this back lot. We gridded it out. These markers show where I believe an old outhouse pit once was. This thing's big, six by four roughly. So we'll get the topsoil off and see what's going on. I got through the topsoil and into a cap layer. You can see that discoloration. It's mostly a uh, modern trash. This is some mix of age. It's early machine made. We did get a 1920s Ford hubcap. That's really cool. Made in USA. Okay, there's seeds. Those are undigested seeds. This likely means we're in an outhouse pit. And we've obviously found the water table. This is gonna be brutal. <laughs> Here we go, you guys. That's circa 1905. Yeah. This is a mess. Shovel hit something here though. Some kind of little jar. This has some really good age. It's got a ground lip. Back in the day, the mold I would have stuck up and they had to grind them down so the jar would seal properly. Wow. There's a ton of broken windows down here. inevitable and we have to step down in this. Ooh. Top's knocked off at this good age. SBNG company, that's the street bottling and glass company. It's a beer bottle. Pre-prohibition. The water table isn't giving up. I'm digging a well down here in the corner so all the water drains in and we can see what's going on. And in the process, a bottle floated up. Again, some good age. It's a tooled top dating back to that pool hall restaurant era. PD and company. Uh, they made pharmaceutical products, I believe. World War One for sure. Uh, another pharmacy bottle. Looks like the same style as the last one. Hmm. There's a ton of stuff down here. Alright, 
this his gloves are already shut <laughs> that's has some great age that's an applied top whoa I think this is Dakota Territory era. <laughs> you zoom in on that drippy top. See when the glass runs down like that? That's an early glass manufacturing process that was out by around 1885. Wow. another one. And another. Too old top on this one. Another beer. Out of the mud, this is an old bar glass. This is significant because it indicates there was likely a saloon being run out of here. Would have been serving drinks and this kind of thing. It's kind of a sharp bottom. I can't say that's cut glass for sure or not, but it's great age. And I felt something else with the shovel down here. Top. <laughs> That's an applied top. A B eighty. Look at that applied top. <laughs> I fought the water enough to show these. It just keeps pouring in. Looks like this one's aqua. Look at that. This one's a turn mold. What kind of top is on this one? That's an applied top. <laughs> awesome. Another beer. And... This one's a tooled top. Another beer, circa 1890 on this one. Digging the west side down. Still just tons of seeds floating in here. And a liquor flask. Shoe fly. shoe fly. Look at all these seeds floating. They're undigested seeds. Look at that. There's some berries in there. There's oh, some salt glaze stoneware. Oh, that's awesome. And it looks like another beer. Tooled top on this one. I 
another liquor flask on the way out. Let's see. Whoa! Commercial hotel. <laughs> this is the first embossed shoe fly bottle I've ever dug. <laughs> that is awesome. It's from Chicago. Three pieces on the way out. Another liquor flask. I couldn't get two in a row. Shoe fly. And there's a beer sticking out of the side. That's the coffee cup. More undigested seeds here. This coffee cup may be intact. <laughs> Another bottle. It's right in the use layer. These are all undigested seeds in here. It's kind of cool seeing how they rested in the pit right there back in the day. Almost like looking back in time. Oh, I'm just filling with water. Okay, coffee cup. Nice. <laughs> Intact. Another beer. SBNG Company, that's an early one. Let's see if, uh, yeah, it's a tooled top. Co LIM seven. Tool top on this one also. I got a glimpse of something down here and I think everyone's gonna like it. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. It's like some kind of smoky milk glass. And this is at the bottom of the pit. I found bottom by the way. Oh um, there's yeah, I, I gotta find every last piece to this thing. This is something else. Oh. Some kind of pitcher or something. <laughs> Look at that. That's one of the coolest things I've ever dug. That is amazing. There's got to be some other pieces down here. Open the pharmacy bottle. There we go. Digging across the bottom. Looks to be a drugstore bottle on the way out and some salt glazed piece. Let's see. A ton of broken windows. Big old salt glazed crack. Oh. 
any stamping on the bottom. Nothing. Wow. Liquor flask. Ooh. The drugstore bottle. And another one. Wow. And another one. Rex Oval. It's one on the left. Another beer. Tool top. No marks on it. This pit just keeps giving. Oh, there's stuff up in here. Broken utility bottle or something. Three piece mold. That's a nice pattern. That's way too far away. Way too far away. Some leaves on it. Briar. E. Farmilde? Farmilde, England? It's got a great age. Some stuff that's writing in the glass. It's like a perfume. This might be a drugstore bottle. Let's see here. Okay, Colgate. Colgate and Company of Perfumers, New York. Now let's see. This could be good. Rinse it out here. James E. Cole, prescription druggist, Sheldon, Dakota Territory. <laughs> Whoa. All right, a couple more. There's one here. Looks like a beer. Wow. Tool top turn mold. And looks like another pharmacy type bottle. Charles E. Cole prescription drug. <laughs> Sheldon Dakota Territory. Whoa. Another one. <laughs> Gotta pull this one out first. There it is. Sheldon Dakota Territory, man. There was none of these known prior to today. Oh, Ponds, 1846. Ponds Extracts. That's the patent date, by the way, 1846. Tool top. 
No markings. It's like a cologne bottle of some sort. Illinois Glass Company. Sheldon, Dakota Territory. <laughs> They're all just clustered in this area here. Uh, Tappan, New York. Classic cologne bottle. Oh, this, this may be the last bottle here. Ooh. Fell out. Huh. Possibly a little drugstore bottle. Nothing home. Great age. It goes without saying here, I guess. What is this? Could be another perfume. Cologne? Yeah. Oh, early. Probably a cologne or perfume. That bottle. No writing on it. Got another one on the way out. This pit just keeps giving. We got a mug base. It's broken. FBW Fargo. I've dug these before. They've made their trek. It's a Hutchinson style bottle. Looks like a drugstore bottle underneath this. Okay, chamber pot, white work chamber pot piece. Circa 1905. We've got a floater. Look at that. Half ounce size, wow. The pit's finished up. See if I can even get out of here. <laughs> Sunken up to my knees. All finished up. Here's the hall. The pit was in use during the late 1880s, early 1890s. Drugstore bottles. Horseshoe. Beer bottles with applied and tooled tops. Bar glass, broken Fargo Hutchinson soda bottle. Five liquor flasks, including that one from the commercial hotel in Chicago. Perfume, cologne type bottles, Pond's extracts. That ornate glassware piece, I'll have to piece that back together. Got some jars, including that citron. That thing's amazing. Cup and a plate. Of course, the five Dakota Territory drugstore bottles. 
sitting on an old crock. This was an amazing haul. Got a small type of pit way back on the property line here. There's a little bit of glass and I think the rod slid past a bottle. Something smooth anyway. We'll see how it goes. strap side flask. It's good age. Uh oh, here's another one. Dr. Shoop's Family Medicine. Wow. They weren't very nice to it when they threw it in the pit, I guess. Or this beer. This has some great age, this turn mold. Wow. Big drugstore bottle, circa whiskey cylinder. Three piece mold. Hmm. Yeah, another drugstore bottle. Everything's the same age here, but at about 1900. We have what appears to be two Hutchinson soda bottles on the way out. Let's see the tops there. There's all this metal junk above it. FBW Fargo ND, look at that beautiful color. <laughs> wow.
Wap oh, William Hupler, Wapiton, North Dakota. Whoa. Ah, oh, and it's green. Look at that beautiful green. <laughs> wow. Some kind of beer. Tool top. Streeter Bottle and Glass Company, Streeter, Illinois. A really shallow pit, privy. One of the most shallow privies I've ever dug. Looks like some kind of liquor flask here. You can see there's all kinds of unadjusted seeds around it. It's like a, okay, ground lip, threaded top. Nice, circa 1900. All right. Bitters, ketchup, and some kind of unidentified piece. A square bitters, tool top, nothing home on it. How much stuff is in this little pit? There's another one. A little ketchup bottle. This is definitely to the restaurant that was here. Three more. Two liquor flasks and a bitters bottle here up top. Just about got these loose. There we go. Strap side whiskey. We have another one over here. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, another strap side whiskey. We'll have a pee on the bottom. Is wedged in here. Wow. What do we have? Another plain square bitters. Tool top. The pit is all finished up. Here's the hull. Everything dated back from 1900 to 1905. It was likely related to the pool hall and restaurant that once stood here. It was an outhouse pit. These came from some liquor bottles, a couple sodas, a beer, patent medicine on the bottom left there, some drugstore bottles, a ketchup, and two bitters. Not too bad. 